go. Social media, we all use it every single day and multiple times a day. But what if I told you that social media could be causing you mental health issues? Mental health issues are one of the many effects that social media could have on you while using it. And as a person who uses social media on a daily basis and has researched social media, I am credible to speak over the several ways social media affects us and you and me. And there are also several steps that you can take to prevent the negative effects. I will start with the positives, and I will state the negatives, and then I will tell you how you can reap the benefits of social media while being safe from the negatives. Like previously stated, there are many positives of social media. They're the most obvious ones, and they're the main reason why me and you use social media on a daily basis. Many positive effects of social media are physical, meaning like you keep in contact with your friends and family. Maybe you use it to be sociable and meet new people. Maybe while being sociable, you challenge your ideas and beliefs. Um, according to harvard.edu, you can do all this and much more. Uh, many businesses also use social media. So maybe like a news station who uses um, social media as a platform to send out news faster, to send news to a wider spread of people because everybody is always looking at social media or has an access point to social media because nearly everybody has a phone. Uh, like stated inside of um, Dave Evans' book, Social Media Marketing, organizations in a word are looking for engagement and they see social media as a way to get it. Not just me and you use social media, but the entire world uses social media and it's very important to day-to-day -day life. While the positives are prevalent, uh, the negatives are not as easy to see. Uh, many negative effects are mental, and that may be why they are hard to see. Uh, these effects include, but are not limited to, the envy or the fear of missing out, which can be kind of linked to addiction, anxiety, or depression, uh, as well as many much, much more. And according to UNICEF.org, it causes those, and plus more. Like I said, uh, this could most likely be caused by fake, fakeness. People living fake lives, people faking happiness, people faking looks, people faking money. Um, much, much of this is done by, for views, and people aren't. That's a key point I want to make. People aren't living happier than you. People, most people don't have more money than you and most people don't look better than you, and it's fake. Uh, while there are lots of negatives, uh, they can be prevented. Several steps are able to be made, and they are fairly straightforward to follow. The first step is to take into consideration that most of what you see on social media is fake, fake news, and fake statements that appear to be fact. Uh, to, you could also realize that people are, like I said previously, living fake lives and faking stuff for views. In conclusion, there are an abundance of effects that affect all of us in day-to-day -day lives. Uh, we use social media every day, and there are several positives and negative effects that social media can have on us. However, we can all prevent them through the steps that I said today. So the next time you use social media, I want, I want you to think to yourself why you use social media and how it affects you. My references were unicef.org, harvard.edu, and social media marketing by Dave Evans.